this is part two of our insect control series. Part two being insects in your yard. Now take a look at this yard. Look at what a lot of work has gone into this. And wouldn't you, if this was your yard, hate it if you got white flies in your Virginia creeper, grasshoppers in all your flowers, and things just started dying because you had insects in there. We're going to show you some products that can really help you with these problems. Okay, so what are some of the insects you might have trouble with in your yard? There's um, ants, box elder bugs, we hate box elder bugs, wasps, grasshoppers, earwigs, white flies, spider mites, spiders, mosquitoes, flies, We've got stuff that can help you handle all of these problems. This is bare tree and shrub. We've talked about this a lot for preventing um, tree bores, but it has some other really great properties. Sometimes you get aphids in your bushes, especially like spirea or snowball bushes or your cystinas or bushes like that. And Oh, aphids just ruin them. They curl all the leaves up and make them look really terrible. This stuff you just mix into water and pour around the base of the plant. You only have to do it once a year. If you do it first thing in the spring before they get their leaves, you're protected the whole time. If you get aphids, you can still put it on, but you only have to do it once a year and it will kill whatever aphids are on there and then it stops any new ones because if they start eating they die. This is a great thing for that. Also kills white flies like on Virginia creeper. You know if you have a Virginia creeper and you get white flies in it. Oh don't you hate that. But this will prevent them and kill them for a whole year. Sometimes you don't want to have to mix that up. This is a spray and it works great on white flies. If you get them in your Virginia creeper you can just spray your Virginia creeper and it kills them and then it takes it into the plant and it works like a systemic insecticide too for a long time. And also this is the only product that we have that will really control spider mites. Sometimes you don't know that you have spider mites because they're so tiny, but you see kind of like web-like things over, over your, the leaves and sometimes on like evergreens and in pine trees. You can tell if you have spider mites because you take a piece of paper, put it under the leaf, and then just tap on the leaves or the branch. And if you see little specks on your paper and they're moving, you have spider mites and boy are they hard to kill. But this stuff will do it. It, it kills them on contact and then it takes it into the plant keeps them from coming back. That is great stuff. If you have um, in, uh, ants in your yard, this works great. You put a quarter of a cup on each mound and it really kills the whole mound. It does a great job. You cannot use this in your vegetable garden, but you can take a, a band of it and go clear around your garden spot, you know, out of ways, so it's not going to get into your vegetables and stuff, out of ways all around the whole thing. And then insects and ants that are trying to get into your garden, when they hit that band, it kills them and really stops a lot of problems from happening. So that's good stuff. Power Force Multi-Insect Killer is the best thing in the world on grasshoppers and a lot of other kinds of insects. But in your yard, grasshoppers, you know what trouble they give you. And the, this kills them, even great big ones. Okay, this product is like the tree and shrub, only this is rated for edible things because sometimes you have in your yard things you want to eat, like Nanking cherries or grapes or berry bushes, things like that. You cannot use these other products on them. They're not rated as safe for edibles. But this fruit and citrus and vegetable insect control really is. And it's a once a year thing just like, just like um, the tree and shrub. You put it on there and then the, the edible stuff is still safe to eat. And boy, it really takes care of the white flies, the aphids, the things like that that get into your edible things that you have maybe on your fence or wherever you have them in your yard. Sometimes your insects get inside your house. They're coming from out in the yard. They get into your house. This stuff is really great for um, spiders that get in the house, ants, things like that. You spray it across the threshold. You spray the corners of the rooms, the corner of window sills, you know, up in the corners. And it, it will kill things for up to nine months inside your house. So it's a really great product. And also, um, it kills spiders that are wanting to come in 
things like that. It works really good. Here we've got another, oh this one, this one also has a germ killer in it. I forgot to tell you that. That one has germ killer and this one is without. But they both work really great keeping insects out of your house and last for a long, long time. Now out in your yard, maybe you've got a party coming up or a lot of people coming over and you have a lot of, ins a lot of uh, mosquitoes in your yard or maybe your corrals are close and you have a problem with the flies. This stuff is a fogger. You spray it and it will kill all those flying insects, even wasps and things like that, for a day or so. You know, it goes away pretty quickly, but if you've got a party coming up and you want to get rid of that stuff and make it a really nice evening or your kids are sleeping out for the night, use this. That works really good. Sometimes you have ants, little ants, big ants that want to come into your house. This stuff is the greatest perimeter treatment ever. You just take it and just like that picture shows, make a band of it clear around your house. When the ants try to cross that barrier to come into your house, it kills them. That really keeps them out of your house. And this is also a really good, a really good insect. Um, not insect, I keep saying insect, but I mean ant, ant killer. The thing about this one is, is you can't use it around any edibles. You can only use it where there's not stuff you're going to eat. So you don't ever want to use this in your garden, but you can use it in your yard, and it's really, really effective. Now I hope that has answered uh, most of your questions. I know we're showing you a lot of products. I hope that doesn't get too confusing. You can watch the video over again, and I hope we've helped you control the insects that you've got in your yard.